you go off to go into shield mode, any players in the middle of like like a peach combo, especially like a blow cancel, like nair peach, peach combo, yeah. you might be able to just abuse the low knockback of shield mode and just combo even harder. Like not even care that he's going to be taking yeah. like less knockback, you just, just go in even harder. Yeah, that's another interesting thing I want to see is how shield mode interacts with like Peach's damage output because that is definitely one of her biggest strengths is uh, she, her damage output is like absolutely insane. Switch the shield, yeah, and that just ends it. But I mean, at that point, he's probably just gonna get like the down throw back, back here anyway, and just right. leave it off there. So I don't think it really disturbed the combo too hard. Right, right. I mean, just thinking about like these couple sets that we've seen players playing in, he hasn't exactly been getting like the high damage combo heavy combos. It's really about putting his opponent into a horrible situation and then just taking a couple hits. Putting him back into that situation, just resetting, and then just keep confirming over and over. Players, I feel like his his corner pressure and his leg trapping is just, oh, man, get that kill sometimes. <laughs> yeah, really, really good start here for Slayer to see how long he can hold on to this thought. And I mean, with, with Shulk, Shulk has so many kill options, there's so many things you have to avoid. You see how Slayer has to weave in and out, stay just out of range of these long like sword attacks and then come on in with that forward air. Yeah, these back airs, uh, or just the hitbox that the back air puts out for Nico isn't helping uh, his situation because with exactly what you were saying, just the micro spacing from Slayer is allowing him to just weave around that. He's going to have a little bit harder time dealing with a big wave hitbox of forward air or nair. And that's the, that's the thing you have to be really good when fighting destroying characters got to be able to whip them. You have to be right out of range, but not commit to shield, so you can like come right on in and punish them first in the so. And obviously that's a lot easier to said than done because you can mess up by staying like right outside of the range and get hit by like the tip of the range. Yeah. But wow, trading stocks blow for blow here, but right now Nico down an entire stock of game. But well, we see Buster Mode coming out for Nico. You know he wants to put on the big damage, but Ooh, good peach combo and 62%. No shield Monado. No shield Monado. I, I feel like those are one of the situations you want to bring out that shield Monado really early. We saw him going to the speed, so maybe it was just an input error for him trying to switch into speed and probably want to shield. I mean, that may have been it. I was hoping that he would bring out the shield just because we could see how, how shield mode interacts with the peach combo. Yep. The, shield, the jump mode is back, and that big crown connects for Slayers. Yeah, Nico just could not get him off. And right there, Slayer's just doing a really good job. He even, like, he even thought about, like, the boost from the jump Monado R2 mm -hmm. to cover that jump out of disadvantage, and he plays the fair in that perfect situation. What a read to finish it off. And, yeah, wow, Slayer's looking really, really strong. Yeah. Like I said, Slayers will come out. Uh, the shadows every once in a while hand out a few L's and then disappear once again. Once again, you know, back into the night. <laughs> yep. Slayers is such. Oh, right there. Okay, so see, that's very good. Because <laughs> like in a, in if you didn't have shield out there, he would took probably double the amount of damage. Just the Slayers must know something that, that we haven't seen quite yet because when Nico goes into shield mode. He will end the combo and just start down tilting Nico. Uh, he might be able to down tilt change. Like, like might, he, yeah, that yeah, could like be he it. down tilt, down tilt, down tilt, maybe. I mean, we, have, we haven't seen a down tilt connect yet. He's kind of just been on Nico's shield. Uh -huh. um, and then he'll either switch out or hit players away. But yeah, he, he has to have some sort of idea of what to do once Nico's in shield mode. Down tilt, try to get Catches that jump. Gimme, gimme. He sends them all the way up to the skies. Oh, yeah. That up air is like, pretty big, too. I mean, obviously, it doesn't have a crazy amount of startup. Like, it's not super quick, but definitely a very big and meaty move. Hey, Slayer is trying to return the stock, though. Wow, pretty early shield Monado. And, I mean, I, I, at the end of the day, he's stock tanking, right? So. Yeah, that's right. I mean, this. Every little extra bit of percent will count and add up. Back here. I think he just used his jump art as well. Really good timing on that upbeat, able to slash that turn up. Okay, speed mode. It's going to allow him to weave in and out. He's going to be able to pressure his players with his movement, but Slayer's going to close out the stock with the back air. Yeah, honestly, I'm taking too much damage. Only 50% on Slayer, but 
Nico trying to get hit back. Oh, there you go. There's the down tilt connecting, but it doesn't seem like it did much. Yeah, negative on hit right there. Hit the down tilt, but Nico just got out of hit some like pretty much instantly and grabbed for it. So that's the crazy thing about shield art at lower percents. Like it's crazy that it has a use now because you can use it in hit sun. Because before you couldn't really do stuff like that. Now you can just be like, oh, you're calm with me, shield. You're negative on hit, and I'm punishing you for it. So you almost have to like see the shield art and cut your combo short. Right. Really true, but whoa, Ooh. fishing for those up airs. That would have killed if you landed it. You that know. high up in the air oh. in Smash mode? Yeah. Yes, definitely. Smash, not a hard so, so strong. They go deep and gets the forward air. Now Nico in the lead here in this game for two. Okay, down air. Only getting uh, one of the middle hits. The shield, uh, shield mode allowing Nico to just really nullify it. Yeah, I like that Slayer's got the hit too, and he just like ran away after because he was still in shield art and pulled the turn up. Like, you're in shield art, you can't find this. <laughs> and, uh, and he was just like ticking the time away from the shield art as well, so really smart play from all these players. Really good character knowledge coming out from both players. Almost. Not quite it. Backslash. To the ledge here. Nico still holding on to the stock, but. Finally dies at 195%. Can we talk about that stock mine? He, he, was, he did have a, he was able to hang on to that stock for, for quite a bit. He wasn't able to put too much extra percent onto Slayer, but now with Buster Mode, that did a lot of damage. Yeah, like three up toes, geez, he's already at 97%, man. Now that Speed Mode is already trying to stay in phase, we see the sliding F tilt. Yeah, and with the Speed Art too, he pretty much was like, he hooked it from the right side of the stage. Got the slide on as well. And it looks so weird at the three <laughs> Like his face just looks weird, dude. Oh man, you're not supposed to look at the face. You're supposed to look at the sword. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> We're looking at the wrong places. Come on, man. They, they could have made Choke like look not so awkward. <laughs> well. We're going to score 1-1, one, one. now Slayer's Go. counter pick of Final Destination. Okay. Looks like a comfort pick for Slayer's here. Ooh, that's like not going to connect though, and now Nico just abusing that Slayer. Build mode is online. In case, uh, in case Slayer's is trying to get something started, like Nico answering right back with a few forward airs of his own. Yeah. It's so crazy, like Buster and Smash art are so good when you got someone pinned to the ledge because for the most part, like, you're not really going to get reversal in that situation. Like, it still can happen, but it's way, way less likely to happen. Oh, there's the down tilt. Okay. It does put them in a trip animation and just kind of lock them down. Wow, that's so good. Okay, so look, it seems like not at, like, super low percents, but maybe, like, mid-ish percents. That, mid to high, mid to high. Percent. Yeah, mid to high percent. That down tilt lock is going to be very useful. And we even saw him almost kill, ending with like down tilt the forward air there at the very end when the shield art ran out. So wow, that's a uh, very interesting. But barely making it back. Both players still sitting on their first stocks here. I like that. Oh, but still with the, the all the swings and attacks that Nico was putting out. Too much time. Took too, too much time. And Slayer's drifting too low. But right now, man, that shield was looking really low for Nico. Uh, eventually, you're just going to get shield bolts. Shield bolts are so much stronger than this game. The quarter almost connects, but back here does find its mark. Directional air dodge to the ledge. Nice. Nico's still surviving, but gets swatted out once again. Back airs keep connecting. Air flash not going to be enough to bring Nico back to stage. Man, only getting, like, you got a, a lot of stock mileage, but like you said, stock mileage is great, but you you gotta kinda make it count too. You gotta do that extra damage, right? Exactly. Ooh, nice speed. There's a shield art down air. <laughs> Yo, right back to down tilt. Right back to down tilt. Why not, right? Especially like in a space like that, it's probably safe. Nice roll as well. Slayer so just keeping this pressure up right now. Man, he just dealt so much damage, he brought himself right back into the game. Another turn up for Slayer. If he retreats back to neutral, pops right over the down tilt. Slayers setting up these turn ups. Jump art. Choke is very light in jump art, so you gotta be you gotta be careful. 
Well, another offensive heart here. Not going to give him that weight that he needs. None, none of that defense. So, speed art going to go down here. Now, Slayer up in this uh, game number three. Smash art oh. is going to connect. That's right. Nico's reaching to the skies, and he's able to find Slayers. Yeah, Slayers floating up there a little too long. The up air going to connect. And it just shows no matter where you're at in this game, you cannot get comfortable. Ooh. The double up air, then he like saves the turn up the whole time in a turn up throw forward air. That was a very uh, very unconventional, but really effective combo. Okay, forward air connects. With Busmo, he does, he does did like 20 damage. Oh man, that shield press is too from the nair. There goes the shield art, but I mean, he still got the damage and forward air. Maybe shield poke, maybe caught the jump, went into jump art, but pretty convincing game. Slayer's on his counter pick, definitely showing why he wanted to use Final Destination. Just get rid of all the platforms. Let's just limit the position, the, the possibilities of where Nico can land, uh -huh. and then just continue to trap him over and over. Yeah, really, really good stuff. And that, I, I think Final is a very great stage for Slayer just because the way he likes to corner pressure or ledge trap, there's nowhere to really go. There's no platforms to retreat to. Exactly. When you're on the ledge or in the corners, it's just a flat stage and Slayers. <laughs> you got to deal with it. So. Okay, but now we see uh, Nico's counter pick, and then just adding a couple of platforms to the stage. Yep. And, you know, Blast Zone's like pretty small on the stage. Not like very, very small, but pretty decent. And going to a game number four here. We'll see if Slayers can seal it out or if Nico can bring this to a game number five here. And like you said, we are on Nico's counter pick, right? Pokemon Stadium 2 is the pick here. And already doing really nicely for Nico. Pretty decent lead here using those anti airs, man. Switching right to the Smash Mono wow. and getting to work off stage. Full aggression coming in, doing a lot of work for Nico. That's He's only taking 37% from on his first stock. Oh man, very subtle, but nice 32% there. Oh, but he's in Buster. You gotta be really careful. Slayers can't really like if you get hit in Buster, oh gosh, it just takes so much damage. Even just like a back row would do a lot of damage. Mm -hmm. But Shield mode coming again. Yeah, like 70%? He made something like negative or not. If not negative, like kinda like Oh, we reset back in the future because I just fall back down. I just feel so it's just like all the the, man, the fact that like Peach's hits don't have like enough real hits done between them uh, that will just make Shield Mode do that for most of Peach's attacks. Yeah, down air being one of Peach's like very important combo moves. The fact that you can like just shield art in the middle of that down air is so so good. Oh, getting a parry but whipping a grab after it. But, ooh, oh. So strong. Slayers has a peak or a stitches as well. Could be big damage. We see Slayers holding on to it. You can see like the flow cancels and the C drops. Okay. Nice. Oh, try to go for the roll to center, but not working out. Okay, there's oh no shield, okay. Nico just opting to uh get out of the combo there. And I think Slayers was expecting the shield mode as well because he drifted lower than normal yeah. for the forward air follow-up. Mix up, baby. And here's the uh, smash art. Yeah. Three stocks. All three stocks. He, like, just switching to smash and the forward air. That one, side. that last stock was a little delayed, but it was still, like, within five seconds of him activating smash art. Wow. <laughs> and just with positions that Slayers were in, he looked like he had nowhere to go. Forward area. Good move. <laughs> yeah, really good move for Shulk. And definitely tearing it up. I think I think Forward Air's best friend is the, uh, the Smash Art. Yeah. Definitely think those two are best. Those are definitely the PB and J of Shulk. Yeah, they, they definitely went to high school together, you know. Oh, yeah. You know, even after they, college. I, they, they chose the same college so they could stay together. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, they, they were like, yo, let's apply to the same college, man, you know. Like, the, the real homie. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh, they've been through a lot. They, go, you know, they got a whole you know, few years together as well. They got a bright future out there. But Shield Mode coming out. And look at that. I mean, in any other for any other character, they would have got swatted off stage there. But Shulk, he Shield Monados that back air, just sinks right to the ground and it's back into neutral. And that's no other character really has a tool that like bypasses that kind of situation. 
which is why I think Shulk is a very strong character. Oh, he caught Slayer's jump, and now he gets the, the, the dash dance into the tech chasing. Woo! Don't fall on me. Well, Slayer is very stubborn in that situation. They so tried to fall on him twice in work, and he's like, I'm going to take time. <laughs> oh, the forward air, you got to watch it. Yeah. No smash mode forward air. That's what it's going to be. That's the combo. The besties, dude. The besties, they, they always pull through, you know? Mm -hmm. The teamwork. That's the power of friendship. <laughs> <laughs> okay, jump mode gets beaten out by forward air. Oh, wow! Whew. You know what? Just, see, that was forward air and jumping out hard, dude. They're, they're, like, close, but they're not, like, they're not, like, smash forward air. Just, you see, the, like, all the damage that... Slayers was able to put on Nico in a matter of seconds. Oh, yeah. He was, he, that was like Nair to forward to turn up to aerial to turn up. But he spaced them out long enough to really Ooh. make it look like that Nico shouldn't be going into Smash. Is that another Stitch? Is that the third one this game? Jeez. Man, these, our Peaches are, are definitely doing something to the game to pull out this many Peaches. There's, there's many Stitches in a single game. That shield pressure, though, what do you do? Slayer is all over you, and he's not stopping. Oh, but he caught the jump. Wait a minute. It's time. Yep. It's time for the comeback. The super best friend combo. <laughs> no. It didn't work. That was the first time it didn't work. Amen. Or at least in this game. Not everything can work forever. <laughs> <laughs> Dang. That's the best Pretty sure Sailor ways. Moon taught me, taught me that. <laughs> Dang. <laughs> so Smash Nato and Warrior have to eventually part ways? I don't believe it, dude. It's now through the power of friendship in anime. Slayer's about to end it. But the forward smash coming through the anti-air at that. All right, so the stocks are even. 107% on Nico. We have the power of friendship, possibly, on Nico's side. Ooh, the back air says no, though. Sending him right back off stage. The jumping out art going to... Gonna give him an easy double jump. Another shield. double jump. Really nice. And straight to the shield Monado. De definitely just wanna stay on stage and get back to neutral. Okay, we're back. We okay. only took 160. No, but there it goes. Just like that. Slayers takes it with the forward. He did a great job of just keeping Nico off stage. Even even in that scenario where uh, like the it was just a fresh stock coming out, you know, from Slayers. But Nico, if you can't stay on stage, you're not really playing the game. Yeah, and he had to burn a lot of resources to finally get back on. He finally did get back on, but, you know, the jump monado was gone. The shield art was ran out. Like, at, the, at that point, there's so little resources, and Slayers is just doing such a good job in neutral as well that he couldn't find his opening. Eventually got hit with the forwarder. He took so much damage as well. He brought exactly. that full sequence already at, like, 150. I think 